Hey, it's Care. Something different for you today. Welcome to my take at the lake. It's new theme Thursday. I know this doesn't look like a new theme. This looks kind of familiar, but not really. We're going to do something a little different today for new theme Thursday. <clears throat> something I've been wanting to try for a while. And I wanted to put this bug in your ear because there's so many good ideas to be had here. A little shameless self-promotion. A word from our sponsors before we start. This is my take at the Lakes Etsy store. Primarily utilitarian, but kind of fun stuff. And as we speak, I'm adding a couple new things to it. And I hope to just keep adding some new things to it as we go along. And as we all grow and get better at this. Uh, for example, one of the things when I first started, I didn't have a lot of stamps or stencils or, you know, a lot of our favorite YouTubers have word stamps and a whole collection of stencils and uh, alphabet letters so that they can make any word they want. And I didn't have any. So I went to Canva and I made my own. Uh, I'll just show you. Of course, they won't have, this is my watermark, um, they'll just have these journaly type of words, journey, dream, wonder, imagine, and they're in different places. So all you have to do is print this out on plain old white copy paper, and you have stamps, what look like stamps all over the place. You can also print this out, it's transparent, so you can print it out on any paper that you have, calendar paper, music sheets, Whatever you happen to have, you can print these out. You can scale these up or down, make them larger pages or smaller pages. The idea is simple as best. These are eight and a half by 11. When you print them borderless, once they're all done, you just fold them in half and voila, you have essentially a whole signature or pages to insert in a signature with these. Uh, they're a bit of a dark charcoal, so they'll fit in vintage, they'll fit in bright, they'll fit in black and white, they'll fit in all types of journal themes. Another utilitarian thing, I didn't have a lot of papers at the time, uh, so I just put my stamped words, again my watermark won't appear in your digital version, but these stamps are the same as they were in the other, but now they're on these various pages, crinkled white paper, corrugated cardboard, paper sack. Um, and there are some grunge designs in here too, just some various, so that you have some different things to work with. What I do is, once I printed them all out, I glued them back to back so they have a little bit more heft to them and they have designs on both pages. You can, excuse me, both sides. You can print double-sided as well. It gets a little tricky though because of the words. If you don't set up your printer and print, print Q correctly, some things might print upside down and who needs that? That's why I just print them off and glue them together that way. I know everything is upside right. Anyway, enough Shame. shameless self-promotion. The reason we're here is for New Theme Thursday. Etsy is, if you've never been, I highly recommend. I, I put it off for a long, long, long while because I just didn't get it. And now that I get it, I can't stay off it. Especially as a junk journaler, as a newbie junk journaler, there are so many way cool things. I must pose a warning it's absolutely addictive because you pick out what you want, you hit buy, and boom, you own it instantly. <laughs> Anything you want. And the uh, for the most part, the creators on Etsy, especially in the digital junk journal kit world, are so incredibly generous. It's amazing. So here... Uh, up here, Etsy tells me I can search for anything. And so I put in junk kit, excuse me, journal kit digital. And we'll see what comes up. Now, 
just on the first page and I can't even tell you we have 30 37,000 results with this simple search so you could have so many new theme ideas your head would explode just from searching Etsy so let's just look at the first few that come up here um, I'm not gonna deal with that too much because it looks like work related stuff and I'm just not interested but here we've got this yummy I'm gonna open it up make it a little bit bigger yummy fall autumn farm life canning vintage it's got a little bit of grungy lace here um, this is by calico collage i'm affiliated with none of these this is a random search i'm i'm just doing this for fun i don't know any of these people um, but i wanted to show you if you're if you're searching for ideas scratching your your head looking for theme ideas for your journals just go to Etsy you don't even have to buy anything just from this one we've got farm life vintage autumn we've got apples peaches and pears oh my we've got canning that would be a lovely warm and fuzzy kind of a journal that would be awesome apple spice what a fantastic name for a kit it could be all things apple apple pie apple spice apple cobbler apple of my eye apple for the teacher apple computer oh yeah so just in this one we've now got 10 or 15 theme ideas and we have 37,000 other results we could look at right see oh my just here we've got color themes look at the bright beautiful colors here pinks and summer greens and i didn't mean to click on open because you don't really have to even open any of these to get the ideas uh, this is uh, oh it's awful touchy uh fairy wildfire flower i i can read and i don't drink in the afternoons i swear wing it very fun but the beautiful colors there uh, the vintagey colors here these pastel icy Christmassy colors purple who doesn't love a purple journal again the autumn colors all blues so just in this first couple of seconds we've got an enormous amount of inspiration it, it can be again I say warning Etsy is addictive back to new theme Thursday can we just can we just try to stick to the topic at hand new theme Thursday we're mining Etsy for new themes this is an interesting one to me the holidays are coming up um, and these are such interesting colors they're kind of new but kind of vintagey they almost look faded um, really really pretty and again if I said this before and it's a repeat I apologize I am not affiliated with Etsy other than I have my own little Etsy shop I'm not affiliated with any of these um, Etsy shop owners uh, this is all random if you see something you like zoom in on it write it down and go go shop at their store because each one of these is likely to have loads and loads of other things in their store uh, if you like this particular type of style uh, Janie B journals is likely to have more like it you can mine Etsy for color themes for overall themes here we've got sort of an autumn looks like a mushroom here so an autumn wonder kit and uh, mushrooms galore here in this one I can't even pronounce it but look there's a little raccoon look how cute he is look how cute little bunny the, the designers on Etsy are so incredibly talented I mean just look at let's look go for sunflowers tis the season right now for sunflowers let's just look at the gorgeous stuff to play with and what you see on the screen depending on your printer they are pretty spot on you know if you have an old crappy printer 
it might not work out as well, but it'll give it a digital extra layer of oomph. I wouldn't worry about it. Um, but these papers are gorgeous, and these are junk journal kits, which is what I searched for. The whole kits. So we have patterned papers, tags, stickers, stamps, and these are tabs. I'm pointing to the screen like you can see my hand. These are tabs. Um, you fold them in half over your page and leave a little bit sticking out. Tucks. Extra extras printable pages um, just exquisitely done the detail and the blow they're just mind-blowingly beautiful something for everyone to be sure so more Christmassy blues um, what is this one called flower market blue so flower market reminds me of farmer's market, reminds me of farm life, um, gardening, just gardening in general, uh, gardening blues, just a gardening theme with just blues, which this, this is a flower market blue. Um, this is by Journal Boat. Just beautiful work. Beautiful, beautiful. We're still on the same page. We're not even done with one page yet. Here's one for Halloween. Ooh, looky, looky. Halloween Garden Junk Journal. Now, isn't that a fun... That's not in my theme basket. Halloween Garden. What a fun way to put these two things together. That's beautiful. I love the colors. Lots of purples. Some black lace. Some spider webs. What a fun idea. From Liana Scrap. How can you not love burgundy winter? Now, I've seen winter in blues. I've seen winter in uh, those icy pastel colors. Of course, winter in um, traditional fall, excuse me, winter in traditional blue and white, the darker, brighter colors, as well as the vintage colors. You can just do owls or woodland critters uh, or the forest um, wildlife in general one of my favorite sayings I use the full-on term but a lot of people substitute for fox sake <laughs> I don't I use the real one for the most part but that would be a fun journal oh for fox sake <laughs> why because sassy girls craft too yes we do Oh, look at the colors here. Autumn Documents Journal. Also by Liana Scrap. Uh, holy smokes, she's got a lot going on. A Digital Hobby Helper. Blue Ephemera Mix. Now this is just ephemera. It's just journal cards and, and old calendars and stamps. And oh my, blue ephemera. So you could just do a blue journal. How much fun is that? Blue seems to be very popular on this front page. Rhapsody in blue. Of course, Halloween, because, again, it's kind of that season. Um, but just from Halloween, uh, all things witches and witchcraft, all things All Hallows Eve, um, old-fashioned medical stuff would be cool that was a big a while back with the specimen slides and the um sort of the dickensian um curiosity shop type uh, raven it could be edgar Allan poe could be great literature could be all things raven could be all things raven colored um could be spiders, could be Alice Cooper the Black Widow, it could be arachnophobia. Um, this looks to me a little bit like Silence of the Lambs, all things scary movie. Um, uh, Silence of the Lambs, that would be an interesting journal, just all the weird things in that, in that movie and that series of books. Are you taking notes? Because by the end, we're, we're 11 minutes in, minus four minutes of shameless self-promotion. So we have, we've got seven minutes in and already we're at dozens and dozens of possibility 
possibilities for new themes, new fun things to explore with our journal making. Ooh, look at here, this old ship. This is uh, printable vintage travel, but oh, what about just old ships and the old shipping maps and the, in the, the, uh, the old compasses? There's loads on Etsy. You can find loads of um, drawings of the of the antique nautical equipment and um, like telescopes and navigational tools. Uh, these old maps and old celestial, um, the way they used to navigate by by the stars, um, that could be its own journal theme. Up here we've got a tiny little Eiffel Tower. How about all things French? French pastries, French language, French movies, French kissing, French watercolors, French artists. Um, the language is so beautiful. So if you could get a hold of a, a French dictionary and some French letters, I'll bet money there's French letters to be had on uh, Etsy. Print those out and put them in your French, all things French journal. Sewing. People have done a lot of sewing, but what about just vintage sewing or old sewing machines? You can find online, you can find the schematics on how, how the old machines were built and the diagrams on how they work. And you can find um, on Etsy and even if you look in your own, maybe your own, your grandma's sewing kit, there's vintage sewing ephemera, um, the old stuff. Here's some French looking stuff, French uh, haute couture um, sewing and, and, and tailoring and, and dressmaking, all French or American or whatever. More woodland creatures, all things woodsy. Here's a crafter's uh, planner. There's a calendar and wish list, project ideas, supplies I need. So you could go all meta and do a junk journal planner about what you plan to junk journal about. Like, whoo, make your head spin. But that's a beautiful idea. Like anything else, some things are done better than others. There's some of these, holy smokes, some of these, these kits are over the moon as far as creativity and attention to detail and clarity and layering and oh just exquisite and then there are some who are just kind of getting started and getting their feet wet and trying their hand and bravo for them for getting out there and trying and in a while they'll be doing over the moon over the top beautiful things too look at this purple autumn i wonder if it's all purple it's only a dollar 35 um, so there's probably not too many pieces to it. But look how pretty. Yeah, all things autumn. Four pages. Three pages. Three or six. I don't know. Six pages. It usually will tell you. Six pages. Yep six six images and six pages so you you if you glue these together then you'll have a 12 page signature you can print them multiple times again you can scale them print them you can you can take them to canva put a filter over them and change all the colors if you want uh, just don't turn around and sell it because that's not playing fair uh, if you want to do that, design your own work but I have taken images to canva and put a filter over them to tone down the colors or to grunge it up. That's an option with your digital kits as well. This is turning into a half New Theme Thursday, half digital kit tutorial. I love the purple autumn idea. I love, look at the teal. It's not quite blue, it's not quite teal. 
oh, 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 it's just so yummy. Stamps and journal cards and tags and pages and, oh, yeah. $2.99, $2.99. Look at the prices here. Of course, you don't have to buy anything. We're on New Theme Thursday. Stick to the program. That's uh, another problem with Etsy. There's so, it's like being at Disney. Oh, look, you could do this. Oh, look, there's that. Oh, can we take that ride? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Industrial grunge. Big fun. Nothing new. There's not a real, that's not a new theme, but it might hold some ideas for you. Look at all those tabs and tucks and tags and envelopes and pockets and labels and bookmarks and belly bands and, st oh my God. Oh, my God. Uh, we haven't left the first page yet. Just, let's just breathe. <sighs> L uh, Legend of Fall. Look at these yummy watercolor. Yummy, yummy watercolor anything. So whatever theme you pick, let's say autumn. Just do autumn watercolor, or watercolor farm life, or watercolor hydrangeas, or watercolor wizards, and and start collecting. I thought I saw a wizard something or other here. A wizard's journal. It's not quite Harry Potter, but there's an owl and what looks almost like a sorting hat. Of course you could do any of your favorite books. If you're a Harry Potter fan, of course course do a Harry Potter junk journal or seven uh, if you're Stephen King oh what fun a Stephen King junk journal would be any of your favorite books Pride and Prejudice uh, Jane Austen you know do do the old English um, like the Bronte sisters and you know pick your favorite bits of literature just do an old favorite literature journal oh my goodness Oh my goodness. So we're not going to go to page two and beyond. Oh, look at, look at the skulls. Oh, so pretty. Old newspaper. This is vintage Halloween newspaper. Again, what a fun co combination. Newspaper, Halloween. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to go right through one page through 187. I'm just going to skip skip around because I want this to be as random as I can get it. So for our purposes, we're on page two. Um, look at here, beautiful Asia. I've not, I've not really seen any Asian themed and there's so much Asian art, Asian watercolor, Asian, um, calligraphy is exquisite the geisha the geisha in art um oh my goodness so many ideas just from that um whether contemporary or vintage they can be kind of creepy too you can do a like a gothic geisha you know that's where some of the most fun ideas come together no matter what it is you're doing whether you're writing books or making junk journals or or trying to make up some new cool things is if you take two unlike things and put them together geisha and gothic because geisha for me they're kind of creepy they're a little creepy sometimes or they can be um, and some are just quite elegant and exquisite too it just depends on how they're done like anything look at here polar winter I love these vintage colors with these pops of bright green and blue. All things lilac. Why not? Gorgeous. I will put a plug in for my porch prints. I've bought a lot of stuff. Her work is second to none. Um, but a lot of these stylists are, a lot of these graphic designers, their work is second to none. Just beautiful. But I have purchased, and again, they're very generous, super, super generous with their kits. I'll just, I'll just leave that at that. Red Vintage. Look at this beautiful, just red. 
kind of like my black and white and red. It was whatever it was. It didn't matter what the topic was. It just had to fit the color theme. This whole $1.92 kit I may have to purchase for my red. Of course, it's not very white. It's pretty vintagey, but this would be a whole beautiful theme all unto itself. Look at the exquisite colors, the old signs and the old tickets and postage stamps and playing cards and oh my goodness. Poppies? Yeah. Here she's putting vintage poppies with vintage art. Nice mix of stuff. Oh, look at here. The clans of Scottish Highlands. Ah, uh, what is that? the um, Game of Thrones inspired, perhaps? I don't know. I've never seen Game of Thrones. I'm just going on the Clash of the Scottish Highlands. Seems to me it took place in that area, that kind of thing. Clans, clashes, whatever. But what fun! Look at the tartan plaids in the different coats of arms. Oh, beautiful. That's not in my box of endless themes in my room there. It's just not. But what a fabulous idea, especially if you're of Scottish descent. Oh my goodness, wouldn't that be fun? Find your family's coats of arms, coat of arms. Find your family's tartan plaid. Do some genea uh, genealogy and family tree digging and see what you can come up with if you're of Scottish or, or Irish descent. See? see what you can come up with and do that kind of idea. Just lace. Why not? Why not just lace? All things mushroom. All things Halloween button. Just buttons. Halloween buttons. <laughs> Halloween sewing. Oh my gosh. Do you see? Do you see how fun this is? What is this one? Autumn blue junk journal. Autumn blues. We have bears and deer and Fall foliage, foliage. I've also purchased from Artie Mays. She has a channel. Go check it out. Bohemian poems. There's one I've not seen before. Here's one on magic magic junk journal. I have talked about that before as an offshoot. I don't think that one's come out yet. I'm doing a new theme Thursday upcoming and one of the offshoots is magic. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, school pack, school papers. Yeah, back to school, old school. Um, schooled <laughs> school papers uh report cards uh all things school eight. oh that would be so much fun fairy tales ooh ooh a dark grim's fairy tales journal would be fun cuz grim's fairy tales are pretty grim if you look at the originals they're pretty bloody pretty gory Pretty gothic. I'd go for it. Oh, that would be fun. Grungy add-ons. So no matter what you're doing, if it has a, an, a vintage theme or a grunge theme, you could pick up this digital vintage just to add. It's got a dictionary page and some old ledger, um, some old ads, just some grungy paper, some old letters. Three bucks. The Booksmith. I wonder if that's Nick. I wonder if that's Nick the Booksmith. It would, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Of course, cats. We, we did that when we talked about dogs. What do we got here? Junk journaling. I do believe. Are these skunks? I don't know what they are. Oh, fairy. Fairy dreams. They're little fairies. I see skunks. Mm hmm. All things buttons and bows. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? Just buttons and bows. Look at these beautiful Halloween tickets. Let's see if we can. So a minute ago we were talking about the old nautical. Look at here. 
here's some of those old there's an old sewing machine old cameras that would be fun a vintage photography collect old old pictures and and get a kit like this what has the vintage old diagrams and photographs and advertisements of old cameras and film and photographers look for old pictures online print them out grunge them up look for old pictures in your basement Mm -hmm. this is a steampunk science oh yeah so that would there'd be all kinds of cool things in there again we're only on the second page one more let's skip oh this is all the way to the end how many pages did we get to just because I'm nosy sorry this is probably making you sick oh no I don't know how we we didn't get very far but okay let's see what do we have to look at <gasps> dogs dog lovers notebook junk journal kit well we have to we have to I'm gonna favorite it so I don't lose it look at the old pictures of all the old kinds of dogs we did a new theme Thursday on dogs, so this would go beautifully in my dog journal, for sure. It has some patterned papers. Oh, paw prints. The book of the dog. Yeah! This is fun, this film strip. Old-fashioned looking Polaroid-y type pictures. Tags and stamps and book pages awesome awesome sauce okay clocks the time traveler that would be fun something new something different Contemporary clocks, old-fashioned clocks, digital clocks would be fun. If you're harvesting new magazines, there's digital stuff all over the place. Not nearly as fun as the vintage -y stuff for some reason. But look here, you could get clock faces. You could make three-dimensional clocks. You could make the hands spinny. You could put little tiny hands from the craft section in these clock faces and have three-dimensional working clocks in your clock journal you could have a clock makers journal oh all the tools of old clocks and old clock makers and clocks all apart oh so much do you see there's just there's so many 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 cool ideas and we haven't even scratched the surface on this stuff People are ridiculously creative. I am a moon child. I was born under the sign of cancer, and I am a moon child, so we must go look at the moon child. Gypsy journal printable kit. Celestial printable. This is by Amy Joy Studios. Look how pretty. I'm assuming that that would be part of the kit. And then she has these cut aparts. Oh, look how pretty. What fun. Steampunk pages. Steampunk is so much fun. I love steampunk. And on Etsy, there is an endless number of steampunk options. Snowflakes, all things snow, snowflakes, snowman, snowy winter's day. Um, I can't help snowy winter's day think about fireplaces and cozy, uh, hot chocolatey kind of days. Snow days, you know, when, when you used to have to go to school and you'd have a snow day from school if you went to school where there was snow. Um, all things snowflakes, that is a fantastic idea. Tropical travel, yeah. Ah, all things gingerbread, that would be fun. Alice in Wonderland, there are so many 
fun takes on Alice in Wonderland. There's Alice in Wonderland steampunk, magic, witchcraft, um, pastels, uh, all every color under the rainbow, I think. Um, or I should say every color in the rainbow. Uh, but here is a, an Alice in Wonderland junk journal. This looks pretty traditional, pretty pretty normal, like the normal kind. 29 sheets of stuff in this Alice in Wonderland kit for f under $5. Can't beat this stuff. There's our Edgar Allan Poe, the Raven. There you go. If that's one you liked, you can get your own Raven Edgar Allan Poe whole kit. The Black Magic Woman. Remember that song, Black Magic, Black Magic Woman? Witchy Woman? You could do an Eagles junk journal, the band. Lilac, Lavender Lilac Dreams. So pretty. So pretty. One more page. We'll do lucky number 13, and then we will call this new theme Thursday a successful romp through Etsy's idea shelf. We didn't purchase anything. You don't have to buy anything. All we're looking for here are themes, new books that we can make, new themes that we can fill our books with, whether we're doing altered books or glue books or junk journals. I think themes are a beautiful thing. Aquilina. Oh, that's fun. Snowy Christmas Garden. Here's another mystical night. Magic mystical night. There's a raven and a crystal ball and a... Uh, Cauldron. What is this one? Junk journaling Halloween ball. Creepy. But beautiful. Holy smoke. Look at all the goodies. Tickets and pages. Pages and tickets. Printed patterns. Envelopes, tags, and tickets. Fantastic. Are you overwhelmed yet? <laughs> I don't mean to overwhelm you. I just mean to inspire you. White roses, vintage ivory, just ivory or just white would just be so pretty. It'd be so pretty. The eclectic eggplant. Why not? That's a lovely name for a, anything. This one is called sh uh, Chivalry Pattern Paper. This looks like, uh, it has kind of cartoony kids in it, though. That's just, never mind. But the theme that it brings up to me, uh, medieval, the medieval festivals with jousting and, and wicked wenches that sell poison apples from a basket as they walk around barking at, at festival goers. You can eat drumsticks just big old turkey drumsticks, no utensils, buy gothic mugs and and uh, chalices and black wool hooded capes and all things medieval. That would be a fun journal too. Renaissance festivals, I think is the proper term. Black and white. This is Mystic Cat, but just Black and white, 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 not vintage white, bright white and black would be such an eye catching, different journal. Wouldn't that just be beautiful? All things spooky, black and white, Halloween, 
very fun. Oh, peacocks. Peacock colors. Peacocks are so beautiful. And they just don't get enough attention, I don't think. Peacock feathers. Peacock attitude. Peacock people. <laughs> peacock um, designs. This is just gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Seaside lighthouse. Beach theme. Lighthouse theme. Shipping theme again. Um, boating. Sailboating. Yachting. Swimming. Uh, vintage beach, uh, at beach with grandma, at the beach with grandma, um, seashells, uh, Jibid Neary's got a couple beautiful by the seaside themed journals. You could go check those out. Uh, she has a gorgeous mermaid one. Um, very, very fun. There's more steampunk, more steampunk more sewing oh he's fun what is he digital download what is this one printable forest there's a skeleton in that forest woodland scrapbook spooky forest oh that would be fun spooky forest not just forest but a spooky forest, kind of like the Halloween garden, but put spooky and forest together, which they go together anyway. Holy Hannah. Alrighty. I think we could be here until the next new millennium. So I will not keep you here any longer. But if you are scratching your head for a new theme idea or a gift idea, you have somebody you want to make a journal for, but you're not quite sure, you could you could ask them but if you want it to be a surprise go to Etsy and just look and all we did there was what did I say 37,115 results from junk kit digital now we could put in junk kit uh, we could just put in purple if their favorite color is purple and that will narrow things down considerably but still almost 2,000 results for ideas. So purple Halloween, purple floral, 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 purple Victorian, look at, look at, blah, 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 come on. Um, lavender papers, vintage sewing, Paris, vintage lady, uh, lilac, um, midnight dreams. Purple Forest. I maybe I just said that one. Purple Postal. That would be awesome. Purple Peacock. That would be fun. Purple Raven. You never ever need to be short of ideas. It costs nothing to hop online. You can shop Etsy on your phone. You can shop Etsy on your computer or your friend's computer or your friend's phone if you don't happen to have one. Um, never ever ever at a at a loss for ideas especially for themed ideas i hope you had fun with me today i sure love this stuff i could look at this stuff all day long but i've got journals to make and work to do so i'm going to bid you adieu my take at the lake out for now